Hi guys, welcome back to another tail video. This picture shows 11 months difference. During this time, I went on a journey to find what products really worked for tails, what made them look beautiful, what helped them to stop rubbing, and that's what this video is about. If you guys have watched any of my other tail videos, you know that I really, really love Lucky Braid Shampoo. It's probably one of my most favorite shampoos. It makes their tails fluffier, silky looking, shiny, and their hairs don't get as tangled when you can shampoo their tails on a regular basis. This is winter time now. This is February 2018, and I don't wash their tails during the winter time. I usually stop washing them around September, October, depending on the weather. It just gets too cold here, so in this video I'm going to show you what I do to keep their tails from getting dry and itchy. This will help to keep them moisturized, and it also helps with dandruff. This do-it-yourself leave-in conditioner has vinegar in it, and vinegar is good for dandruff. So after chance rubbed really bad in September. I looked at his tail and he had dandruff really bad and when they get dry like that they get really itchy and I think there's other factors too but I had gotten a little bit lazy with using this do-it-yourself formula right here and putting it on his tailbone like I am right here and just because it started to get colder and I just kind of stopped my routine. So I went back to this routine. So from September until January, those two pictures, this is what I've been doing. And I just go in, I spray the top like you saw me doing in the beginning. And just, you know, brush it up and get it on the tailbone at the top. And then I go through in the center of the tail and I go all the way down and then I do each side and I just go down the tailbone and then I kind of rub it in a little bit and I spray the whole tail too. I use more on the top and just do a light coat for the rest of the hairs. More of like a mist on the bottom on the long hairs and then I just really focus on the tailbone because that's the part that gets really dry and when that gets dry they start to get itchy and want to rub. I go back and try to find dry spots where it looks like they need a little moisture and I just kind of work through it, rub it, and the thing that I like about this leave-in conditioner, it's my do-it-yourself formula. I'll post the link above and I'll also post a link below along with everything else that I used in this video. But what I like about the do-it-yourself formula is that it dries. It moisturizes without being oily and being in Nevada, we have so much sand here. Our horses don't have any grass, their pens are sand, everything's sand. And to have something oily, it attracts the sand, and this doesn't. This looks wet at first, but it dries within probably two hours. And I also like to spray it on my hands and rub it underneath on the tailbone, just the underneath part where it's kind of bare. And I try to get it on the hairs on the side of the tail too. I just really work it into the upper part of the tail because that's the part that gets dry and when that gets dry it gets itchy and if they itch and rub, they rub those long hairs that hang down and it breaks them off and that makes their tails look thinner so it's really important to take care of the top part and this is something that I've wondered for a long time but I didn't really start looking into it until October of 2016 like in that first picture in the beginning of the video. That is around the time that I got my mare who had a beautiful tail and it made me want to learn what it took to have a beautiful tail and do that with my other horses. Chansey had a really short tail when I first got him in 2013. It was a little past his hawks and in the last five years it's grown and for a little while after it grew out it looked really nice and then he started rubbing. And that's part of the reason of this video is that I just went on this journey to find out why they rub, what you can do about it, and just finding a good routine. And this is one of my other favorite products is Shoshin. I use this first and comb out the tail before I start using the conditioner, but I forgot to videotape that part in the beginning. And after I use the conditioner, I do spray it again and comb it out again. And I know this doesn't look very pretty, but it's not really supposed to look pretty now. It's what it does, and it does really moisturize and condition the skin 
and the hairs. And I'm using this brush to massage and stimulate the upper part of the tail. That helps to create their own oils and helps to moisturize their tails too and keep them from getting dry. In that picture in the beginning of October 2016, you saw how dull his hair looked and it was just dry. It was dry and brittle and didn't look very good. So even though this doesn't look good right now, it does make it look good in the end. All these things in this video are the things that have helped him go from that September picture when he really, really rubbed to the January picture where you can tell that the hair on the top of his tail has grown back and his tail also looks thicker and healthier than it did in September. And this is the last thing that I use. This is the rose oil that we talked about in our first tail video that we made. I'll put that link below too because a lot of you ask about where we get the rose oil. I finish off this routine with the rose oil and I just mist it through the long hairs. This helps their tails to be more elastic which makes it harder for the tail hairs to break. The do-it-yourself conditioner creates moisture and conditions the hairs and the rose oil will lock in that moisture. And the rose oil along with the shoshin is what makes it looks shiny as you can see here and like I said because it's winter time I don't get to wash them so this is what it looks like in the winter time without washing and it looks so much better when you can wash it too <laughs> Cut. I was wondering why he didn't want to stand still <laughs> silly boy he has to do that every time I take him out and you can see here that the top part is not as shiny as the bottom part. I do put a little rose oil on the top too, but with all the conditioner that I use up top, it doesn't really look that shiny right away. It kind of looks almost dull, but that's okay. It always looks better the next day. And the longer you practice this routine, you can see here how it seems like I have a lot on here, but this dries, like I said, in about two hours or so, especially if you're in a dry climate. If you're in a more humid climate, you might not need to use so much. And I do this routine probably about every three to five days, depending on how it's looking. And right here, because of the leave-in conditioner, the top part doesn't look as fluffy, but that's not our goal right now. Our goal is to keep him from itching and rubbing his tail. If I were able to wash it with the Lucky Braids, it would just look really shiny and fluff right up. But this is our routine during the winter time, and I always give him a little hay snack afterwards, so he eats on his hay and doesn't lay down and roll and get dirt stuck in there. So he eats his hay that gives his tail time to dry and soak in the conditioner. And before bedtime, it's all dry. And if he lays down, he doesn't attract the, the sand and stuff in his tail, which could irritate it and make him more itchy. And these are the three things that I used in the video my do-it-yourself conditioner in the green bottle, the rose oil in the pink bottle, and the shoshin. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out some of our other videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.